mill now. Let me see uh, if I can turn this around. Yeah, there we go. Now, there's a bunch of walnut logs I've got laying out here. Just to give you an idea on the size of these. That's about 9, 10 inches wide. And it's probably about 10 foot long or so. That one's got a nice little, little dimple in there. That was a piece of steel leaning against a tree there. That's a nice piece of walnut. All these are walnut here. This one here I think is probably one of the best logs I've got right now. It's about 14 and a half inches wide and probably, I'm gonna guess 10 foot long here. Let's take a quick measurement here. And it's a little over 10 foot long. That's probably the cream of the crop right there. This one here is a nice one. Got a Y on it here and a Y on it down there. Now the problem with this one is I've got a, only an 18 inch throat on my sawmill. So I can only fit 18 inches. The sawmill is good for a 23 inch log, but you know, I've got more than uh, more than 23 inches there so that's 18 inch throat on it I'm gonna have a hard time just getting I might be able to get this piece here through once I get down here to this end I'll get this piece here through so I guess the question is do I want to cut this off and run some nice slabs down through here or do I want to leave the crotch figure on it and have one up top and one at the bottom make two nice the, the figure that's in this, where this tree wise out, has some really nice dark pattern to it. And a lot of people really like that, so if I cut this off across the top and I cut it off across the bottom there, that'll make some really nice figure in there. So I have a nice figured piece here at this end and a nice figured piece there at that end. These two here have a little bit of a bow to them. But I think I'll lay them on the sawmill and probably slab them just the way they are. Actually all three of them, even that short one there. Even the short one looks short, but... I've got just under six foot on that one, so... I think even that would make some nice slabs. So that's my stockpile of walnut I've got out here. I decided this morning I'd go and I'd cut one up. I'll show you what I got here. I slabbed one of them up and that's what it looks like when it's all slabbed out. Those are two inch thick slabs and they're roughly 13 inches wide. I'm going to do a video on this. I recorded me cutting this so I'll probably post a video here coming Saturday. But that's that figure in, in the branch when you have a Y like that where two pieces come together and that everybody likes that figure in there. So that's why I like to try to get that through there but you can see some of the stuff is got some nice grain pattern to it. It's a little weak there. That piece probably get cut out, but you can see like this piece here is real nice. It's got a little bit of figure there where it had a knot. And it's got a little bit of figure down there where that Y comes in at.